Hello, I'm back with another video here, and today I've made a screen that can count from 0 to 99, and then we'll loop back and start over again. So, I'll start it up, and show you how it works. Uh, from what I've measured, it goes about three numbers a second. Um, it's not too accurate to that number, but it's around them. It's around them. All right, and oh, this glowstone in the middle is just so you can see it at night. Otherwise, it looks really goofy. I just can't see much of it. All right, so the only problem is you just have to make sure you don't turn it off with this far number or this near number uh, on nine, or else the other number will keep going and going and going. So, all right. on the light and here's how it works um basically uh, oh. this piston array here is a vertical version of this array now most uh piston clocks or piston i don't know what they're called but i guess uh data stores like this one over here they have they have to have three holes one two and three and they operate with a um a piston clock that looks like this. Uh, this version, it operates off a piston clock that only has two holes because this is the only way to get ten blocks in a um, cycle. See so here, if we count one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, so that's ten. So now, we turn it on. And it goes probably even faster than the cellular version over here. So start using this. Um, the clock that powers it is just, this goes back and forth. Um, when it's here, uh, w oh, when, when this block is lower, then the power can reach the uh, one piston, and when the block is over here, then power is powering uh, the other piston. So that's right here, and it's powering this. And then this red block over here is what triggers the next piston array, which is the exact same they're both programmed to go from 0 to 9 uh, sequentially. So that just, uh, when this red block is here, it gets powered and s this will lower for just enough time for this next array to go uh, 1, or to go to the next uh, the next number. So for those who don't know, uh, power, uh, redstone power can go through solid blocks such as wool, I'm using orange wool here just so it stands out, but not through glass. So look on the other side here and we have power going through all but uh, this middle one here. So that's I think that'll be a zero because the way I have it set up is the top um, segment is this first one and then the top left is this one and then the top right is the one underneath here and then this one is the the very middle one and if we check out here yeah it is a zero so yeah these um it probably looks pretty daunting with all these redstone wires but this is just hooking it up correctly which uh it, it's not really that bad but it looks awful especially since i mixed up um I flipped the left and the right side at first. And this one didn't have that problem, but that just made everything a lot more jumbled than it had to be. Um, over here, I, this is my mock-up display to see how I was going to be able to wire it up. So each one of these can power one of the seven segments in a seven-segment display. So yeah. Um, I will also have this world available for download in the link below. Check it out if you want. There's also my music player back here. I um, I never made a, a video on that, but check it out. It plays Ode to Joy. Um, you might have seen something similar to it before. I just was playing around with the, uh, the design. Um, there's a cobblestone bridge maker and some other stuff here. But this is probably my favorite thing so far. So, yeah, thanks.